Yo, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word, man? I'm back with another album review. And today I'm going to be doing Bodie James' album titled Penalty of Leadership. And if you don't know who Bodie James is, a Detroit rapper. Um, been around for a while now, man. Uh, definitely one of my favorite rappers. And this album is uh, fully produced by Canadian producer Nicholas Craven. And um, Bodie James been around for a while now. My first introduction to him was back in 2013. And he came out with an album fully produced by the Alchemist titled My First Chemistry Set. And, you know, ever since then, I've been a fan, man. And that album had people like the, with the likes of, like, uh, Action Bronson, Earl Sweatshirt was on there. Even people like Vince Staples, Dash. You know what I mean? And I've been tapped in ever since. And he kind of took a, a kind of a short hiatus after that album, you know. But when uh, around like 2020, him and the Alchemist came back. He dropped the EP called Bold Face EP, and then he dropped a, a album called uh, The Price of Tea in China, which were both exclusively produced by the Alchemist again. You know what I mean? Him and the Alchemist have uh, so many projects. I don't think there's anybody who has more projects together than him and Bodie James, man. And um, this is one of his most recent albums, came out earlier this year, I believe uh, maybe around like January, February, and I've been listening to it ever since, man, it's a really dope album. And uh, Bodie, man, um, he, I, he just a pioneer, man, he, um, I would say he's like the upper echelon of uh, rappers in, this, in the newer age, you know, just when it comes to lyricism, uh, beat selection, a uh, curation, you know, just style, and you know, uh, there's that element of wisdom too. You know, he's not a younger guy; he's an older dude. You can tell he's been through things, seen things, and you know, uh, that's the that's the type of music and that's the type of rappers that I'm interested in. You know, people who really have something to say, people who have experience. You know, what I mean, he's definitely one of those people. And so let's just get let's get straight into it. You know. Let me talk about the album cover, man. The album cover, it's, uh, you know, kind of like a 3D art where uh, Bodie, you know, he's like in a gurney going into a um, the back of an ambulance. And uh, that's a reference to, I believe, last year he was in a pretty a pretty bad car accident where he, um, I believe he was paralyzed after this car accident, which is actually crazy, man. And uh, he ended up in a wheelchair, you know. Uh, thank God he recovered, you know. But, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that he was probably recording some of this music. Excuse me, I'm burping this shit. Goddamn, that's the iced coffee, man. But, uh, you know, I believe he was um, recovering from that accident while he was recording this album. You know what I mean? He de he made some references to, uh, references to that to that event where he was injured and paralyzed within the album. You know, man, so now I think that just shows a test of his character, you know, that even when he was fucked up and, when, you know what I mean, he was injured, he still was cooking, you know what I mean, he still was in the studio, you know, let's get straight into it, man, track number one, titled Formal Invites, uh, you know, this is a really, really good intro, man, and it got like this, this vocal sample, this, uh, a loop vocal sample, shots ring out, people shout, it's like a female soul sample, you know what I mean? Got a nice piano, guitar in the background. Kind of sound like some chill, funky 70s jazz. You know, Bodie just coming in with some, you know what I mean? Some real gutter, gutter gun talk, gun talk bars. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thing he said, 50 zone boys, but we don't fuck with 5 -0. You know what I mean? Real, real, you know what I mean? Uh, something, something about Bodie, man. He just really, he's very nonchalant, man. And, and it took his approach, but... But he doesn't have to be aggressive or loud, you know, But because he just kind of fit. It's kind of like there's there's aggression without being aggressive, if that even makes sense. You know, it, it, it's, it, it, the, just the intent in his voice. You know what I mean? You can tell he's serious. You know what I mean? You can tell that he's he, he not he's not coming to play. You know what I mean? And uh, that, that's a real cool, a real cool intro to the, to the, to the album, you know. And then it goes into Jack Frost. You know what I mean? Which is really one of my favorite tracks on here. And uh, one thing about when when uh, Bodie James rap, bro, it's just you just believe what he's saying. You know, you know, you, you might listen to some new rappers now, man, and he's just like, come on now, like you, you just talking, bro. You just you just talk saying shit to sound good 
I mean, that's part of the game. I get it. But, you know, when you listen to Bodie, man, you, you can just you can just feel the authenticity, you know what I mean? And, he, man, he just be saying some really cold-hearted shit to me, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a real dark shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Took him up top, wonder what was his last thoughts. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. You know what I mean? Took him up top, wonder what was his last thought. You know what I mean? It's a real funky sample. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? He got some lean references, you know? And then he's saying some, some like, real, just some, you know, grimy shit. I nicknamed my stepper Black and Decker. All he know is drilling. You know what I mean? Clever bars. It's just, a, you know, some really good mixing and production. Shout out to Nicholas Craven, man. Nicholas Craven is fire. You know what I mean? I first heard of Nicholas Craven well, when he was he was producing for the God Fahim, Atlanta rapper, you know what I mean? My Kami. You know what I mean? Who also an artist I'll be doing reviews on in the future. You know what I mean? Real pretty simple, you know what I mean? Um... You know, I, I think he, 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 and also he's kind of like making some references to attempt to stop drinking lean, but you know what I mean, not being able to stop, you know what I mean, in, in that song. Just real cold, you know what I mean, pretty, so, and you know what I mean, just the, the samples are so beautiful and like pretty and, you know what I mean, real soulful, and then the bars are just really dark, <laughs> you know what I mean, so I like the, I like the contrast to that, you know what I mean, and then, uh, then we go into... Track number three, Evil Genius, which it got just this really fucking weird beat, man. You know, like this, uh, it's kind of like a synth or a, a organ, you know what I mean? Some uh, real slow drums, like ethereal feeling, you know what I mean? Real chill sample, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He, he comes in saying, uh, you know, the police treat, like saying police treat us like the police treat us like animals, you know what I mean? And, um, uh, just just looking at what's going on now when it comes to police brutality it's almost like it's almost like police a new a new police brutality drops every year you know a new event of a police doing some fucked up shit you know what i mean so i feel him when he say that you know what i mean he's speaking on just his whole life he's been doing the legal shit and kind of just being outside of the law you know what i mean just being an outlaw you know what i mean taking care of his kids you know, this beat is, like, real sleepy, too. It's, like, you know what I mean? Like, really chill, really chill, sleepy beat. Um, Yeah, man, uh, that's that's pretty 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 solid track. Pretty solid track, you know what I mean? Then I go on, then they go on to track, uh, track four, Murderous Tendencies. Another soul sample, you know, you got some strings, some horns, female vocal chops. You know what I mean? He's saying, um... With friends like y'all, man, who the fuck need enemies? You know what I mean? I always always like that saying, you know what I mean? Friends like y'all who the fuck need enemies, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, again, with the dark, just the dark bars, man. That's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Seri I'm a serial stepper, detective tracing patterns, you know? That's a crazy way to say a serial killer, you know? <laughs> serial stepper is crazy, man, but... Uh, and then he says, uh, I burn a nigga house down, give him a house, uh, burn, burn a nigga spot down, give him a house warming. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that nigga, uh, Bodie, Bodie be saying some funny shit also sometimes, bro. You know what I mean? But Murderous Tendencies is fire, man. I like that. I like that track too. You know what I mean? And, um, then it go into track five titled No Pun Intended. And I really like, I really like this song, man. I really like No Pun Intended. Got like another soul uh, female vocal, you know what I mean? Piano with some slow drums, you know, a real catchy chorus. And then he said some shit where I died, like he said, don't call me twin, we do not resemble. You know, this is, you know what I mean? I, I hear a lot of people saying that, calling each other twin, twin, that, twin, this. I know it kind of, I don't know where that shit come from. It's like Atlanta slang, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Then he says some more, so another thing, another line where I let her, like, he says, I got three three titties on a chop, like, total recall, you know what I mean? If you recall that that movie, there was an alien bitch, she had the three titties, you know what I mean? Three titties, titties, you know what I mean? I like that shit, um, stick poking out my trousers like I'm free balling. <laughs> I thought that shit was a fucking hilarious, bro. Oh shit, man! You know what I mean some clever, real clever bars, man. But uh, yeah, I like that. No pun intended. 
if a log is, he says, the core is long as ain't no gun involved, ain't no pun intended, you know what I mean? But yeah, then we go in the track, um, then we go on the track six, brand new Chanel Kicks, and I believe this was the first single off the album, brand new Chanel Kicks. Um, you know, he's speaking about his accident that, that left him paralyzed, you know what I'm saying? He said, accident left me paralyzed, all my peoples was terrified. You know what I mean? I'm sta- he said, I'm standing in standing out my wheelchair, wheelchair strong. So, you know what I mean? That, that, that's a crazy visual for him to, you know what I mean, be recording this shit, making this music while he's almost like, you know what I mean, try, like really fucked up. And I also, also seen like a clip that he put out, a video he put out of him doing physical therapy. And he mentioned that. He said, <laughs> yes, he said some pretty crazy shit. Uh, he says, uh, uh, I, I got to sell this brick in a Cherokee brick in a Cherokee after I'm done doing physical therapy, you know what I mean? I thought that shit was funny, you know, but that's, but, but, um, yeah, man, uh, he, he, he went through that shit, man, and still, and still continues to give us good music, man, and I respect that, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, brand new Chanel Kicks, man, good track. And, um, you know, he, he also was talking about how he broke out of rehab. Because you know, what I mean, he just didn't want to. He, he didn't want to have to deal, be be stuck in. You know what I mean? Like that's some G shit, man. To break out of rehab, because usually, you, you know, what I mean, wanted to get out and be able to make music and just get get back to himself on his own without. I feel like he needed help from you know, what I mean, a nurse or with rehab or whatever. You know what I mean? And the, and the sample on here just kind of remind me of like some 007 shit. You know what I mean? Kind of like some Pink Panther, Inspector Clouseau. You know what I mean? Spy shit, you feel me? But yeah, I like that. I like that track too, man. I mean, I pretty much like every track on here, bros. So you're not gonna hear me complain about anything. And then we go on to track seven, which is a straight ass. Uh, another soul sample, you know. Got some strings, kind of remind me, you know what I mean? Like a like a you know the old school dip set beats with the with the high pitched vocals and shit. You know what I mean? I really I really like I really like this one, man. Uh, like some Cameron shit, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, me talking about just like being a man of honor, you know what I mean? And not switching on his peoples and taking care of his family. And, you know what I mean? Also speak of some, also speaking of some, some more personal shit, like just, you know, his mind being in a dark place, you know what I mean? And, uh, just being more vulnerable, you know what I mean? Talking about his rough past, you know what I mean? Coming from a broken home. Uh, you can hear the smooth criminal on my vocal tone, and that that line stuck out to me because he really does like kind of got a vocal tone of kind of like a kingpin type of nigga, you know what I mean? Like real, real stoic, real calm, but not somebody that you would want to fuck with, you know what I mean? But also like a really mellow person, you know what I mean? Them type of like mobster type of people, you know? Now you know a lot like them niggas kind of had that that machismo where they was just chill, cool. But they was dangerous, you know what I mean? Not really like how now rappers nowadays just feel like they have to exude like this this super hard character where they just own demon time and they crazy and they psych the fuck out. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's another thing that I like about Bodie, you know what I mean? Real cool, calm, collected dude, but you can tell he's probably not a dude you don't want to fuck with, you know what I mean? And yeah, man, uh... He also said, uh, the officer is mad because my watch above his pay grade. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah I like that line too, man. Uh, but, yeah, that's a, that's a solid track, straight track. Then we, then we go on a soccer mom, which I really I really like. I really like that title, man. It's, you know what I mean? It's a funny title. Another another, another sample that kind of sounds like an organ. You know what I mean? I'm not good at really picking out instruments. So, you know what I mean? If I, if I mistake the instruments, forgive me. You know what I mean? I mean, which he's kind of just talking about, like, speeding, probably doing illegal shit in a soccer mom van, you know what I mean? Probably like a caravan, Dodge caravan or some shit, you know what I mean? Really, really weird instrument in this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck that instrument is, bro. It, it, it's such, but it sounds so cool, though. These samples, again, man, shout out to Nicholas Craven, bro. He's good at finding these real off-kilter, weird, like, Euro jazz samples, bro. Like, and it just sounds really good. With Bodies, you know what I mean? Street, dark, you know what I mean? Just gangster ass fucking lyrics, you know what I mean? It's really fucking avant garde and weird, and I love it, you know what I mean? 
and it got like this beat switch at the end, you know what I mean? Real jazzy beat switch. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's another solid track, you know what I mean? Then you get, then you go to track nine, uh, early worms get the bird. So, you know, that's a play on a, that's a play on the saying, early bird gets the worm, but you kind of flipped it. You know what I mean? And this is the first beat with a actual like added drums. Most of the, most of the, excuse me, most of the tracks on here are uh, sample loops, you know what I mean? Chops, I don't want to just say sample loops because, you know, um, Nicholas Craven, I can tell he puts a little bit more time in, into uh, uh, um, selecting the samples than just finding some shit and just loop, putting on loop, you know what I mean? I don't want to dumb this shit down like that. You know what I mean? Also, I'm going to speak on something, I'm going to speak on something that Nicholas Craven said on, um, on Instagram or Twitter, I believe, at the end. You know what I mean about about sampling producers who who sample without using drums. You know what I mean, but uh, yeah, this track was the first was the first beat where he added uh, added program drums to the beat. You know what I mean. And I actually I feel like I heard this sample before. You know what I mean. Um, I can't remember what song. But I definitely heard this sample before, and this is actually the only feature on this album, which I believe is a uh, double D. Which is actually a frequent frequent collaborator of Bodie, and I believe she, I believe it's a female. You know, what I mean, she has like a lower uh, lower register voice, so you kind of can't tell it's a female at first. But if you listen to Bodie music, then you'll probably know who she is. You know, what I mean, I believe she's from Detroit too. You know, what I mean, she actually was on my first chemistry set back in like 2013. So long time collaborator, I believe, like long time friend of Bodie James. You know, what I mean, he also says something in the album. Uh, only person not only person I can really trust is Double D, you know what I mean? Uh, and he was talking about her, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Uh, some some bars he said in here, new sheriff in town, and you know I'm running shit. And then, man, he uh, in, in my opinion, bro, like Bodie James is really running the rap game, bro. Like he, he he's kind of like the most consistent in putting out just quality music. I feel like, bro, like definitely in that in that list, the top people, you know what I mean? Just something about Detroit, man. The water, the water in Detroit, bro. There's something in the water, man. Them niggas, uh, definitely some of my favorite artists out of Detroit right now, for sure, man. And the, the uh, Bodie is a pioneer. I'd say like, um, I say like after Eminem, I feel like he'd be he'll be, he'll, be, he'll be right after Eminem. I believe I, I say that. You know, what I mean, I say that with confidence. That's definitely like there's Eminem and then there's Bodie, then there's like Danny Brown and then everybody else like after that. You know what I mean? And forgive me if I don't know everybody that came up in Detroit back when Eminem was around. So I don't know about every, but the people I know, you know what I'm saying? I, I say, I say Bodie's one of the best, you know what I mean? But yeah, man. Then they'll go, to, then we go to uh, track 10, Speedy Recovery. You know what I mean? Another nice soul sample, nice soul chop, got some jazzy bass and guitar. You know what I mean? In the, um, you know what I mean? A vocal loop. And they saying, uh, don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? He kind of incorporates the vocal loop into the chorus. And he's like, uh, don't know what you're doing with yourself. And he's like, uh, and the Bodie's like, oh, I have, I don't have a clue. You know what I mean? So he kind of play, he kind of plays on a, plays on a vocal loop, like makes it into a bar. You know what I mean? But like real, I love I love the rhyme scheme on here. He kind of like rapping the same kind of like rhyme scheme throughout the whole throughout the whole track. And I love when rappers do that, like just kind of pick a rhyme scheme and a flow, and then just do it consistently throughout the whole track. That's kind of what he's doing on here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He says, uh, "No woman gonna love me like my mother do." You know what I mean? He's talking about not really trusting women, and ignoring gullible women. You know what I mean? The fake friends, fake niggas. You know what I mean? Speedy recovery, definitely a solid track, solid track, man. Like I said, I, I pretty much like every track on here. So and then we go into the last track, man. All my tokens, and uh, I really like the I really like the instrumental, the sample on here, uh, a psych like a psychedelic rock sample, guitar sample. You know what I mean? Bodie come in saying, I can't remember a time I ain't had no motion. You know what I mean? So, you know, basically saying, you know, I, I've been doing my thing for a long time, you know, and I believe him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's kind of, he's kind of talking about, like, he would have crashed out if he didn't have his kids. So, you know what I mean? Saying, like, his kids grounded him and he kind of made him more of a responsible human being. You know what I mean? And then we come with the, you know, drug dealing bars, you know, the street, street bars. 
You know what I mean, bro? And I, and I love, I love, I love that he's just rapping his ass off like for a long ass. It's like a four minute track. You know what I mean? He also says, uh, say, you know, the loudest in the room, usually the brokest. Uh, stack up all my tokens, uh, cause that broke shit rub off on you. You know what I mean? Stack all your money, you know, I'm with the broke shit to rub off on me. You know what I mean? And then kind of got, and then, you know what I mean? Uh, the guitar solo come in at the end, you know what I mean? And he finishes off like that. You know what I mean? Real, uh, uh, a very solid way to end the album. You know what I mean? And, uh, this was just a really good album, man. And I've been listening to it so much since it came out earlier this year, man. And Bodie is just really one of them ones, man. Definitely, I feel like he, he, he's in my top top 10, at least top five rappers for sure, man. If you're not aware of Bodie, J, Bodie James, I, I, um, I intensely, I, I definitely, I definitely suggest to, uh, look him up, man. Definitely, uh, if, if you're, in, if you're into this type of music, you know what I mean? Uh, complex lyricism. You know what I mean? Good flows, uh, soul samples, uh, hip hop beats. You know what I mean? And really, really focusing on just quality of music, bro. Like he just puts out fucking good fucking quality of music, bro. And I appreciate him for that. You know, and if you're watching Bodie, keep doing your thing, bro. I'm a fan. I'm always gonna be a fan, bro. You the realest. You the realest doing it out here, bro. Real talk. Um. Yeah, man, uh, Nicholas Craven, Bodie James, Penalty of Leadership, solid album. I'm not even going to do the rating things, man. Fuck the ratings, bro. Because, uh, you know what I mean? I, I really I really just, I really only really like to review albums that I, like, really enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, what's the fuck? I don't really see the point of reviewing some album just because it's popular, bro. Like, I, I'm really going to focus more on reviewing albums that I enjoy. And, you know what I mean? And hopefully people that enjoy their albums tune in and watch my reviews. You know what I mean? Real talk, but uh, shout out Nicholas Craven too. You know what I mean? Shout out Bodie James, penalty of leadership. You know what I mean? And the thing I was speaking on, on Nicholas Craven, he was re recently I seen him post a post about how, you know, what I mean a lot of a lot of people like to, uh, like to critique producers who don't who don't use drums, saying that people who only sample aren't really producers because it's it's lazy and it's easy. But but he was saying, uh, you know, I, there's a pro there's a whole process, man, like. Like I, I I gotta I gotta travel, you know what I mean? I gotta meet I gotta meet up with people and you know what I mean I gotta set up, you know what I mean, he sets up studios for the artists, you know what I mean? So like he like no, nah, I still put it like whether I'm using drums or not, like it's still an art form, you know what I mean? Hip hop from the beginning has been about sampling. You know what I mean? Like using other art and making it into something else. You know what I mean? And then it then it evolved and you know what I mean then and then came DAWs and Pro Tools, Fruity Loops and shit like that. And NPCs where you can, you know what I mean, you can kinda of make your own sounds, you know what I mean? But from the jump, you know what I mean, they were doing sampling, you know what I mean? So anybody who says shit like that, like they they just they either just not a producer or they just don't really know the history of hip hop, you know what I mean? So yeah, man. Nicholas Craven, very talented producer. Bodie Jane, very talented rapper. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that's I think that's everything. You know what I mean? Let me check my notes real quick. You know what I mean? Okay, one more thing. You know, um, I just wanted to say that I can tell listening to Bodie that he's been through a lot of pain and seen a lot of life experiences. And um, I like I like when I like when rappers tell their story and a bit talk about the shit that they've been through. And then you know what I mean now you see the, see them where they're at today, you know what I mean, they're in a better place in life, and they reach their goals, you know what I mean, and that's just inspiring to somebody who may not have got there in that point of life, you know what I mean, so appreciate the inspiration, Bodie James, appreciate the art, Nicholas Craven, and uh, peace to the next time, man, one love.